that Slender Man has been an urban legend since it was born in June 2009. The creator, artist Eric Knudsen, on an online forum called Something Awful. The story has since influenced everything from Halloween costumes to video games to documentaries. It also, allegedly, inspired a pair of very real preteen girls to stab their classmate. Here's everything you need to know about that Slender Man. The origin of the Slender Man is in 2009, the web forum Something Awful held a contest challenging users to edit everyday photographs to appear paranormal. Knudsen submitted two black and white photos of children with a newly created Slender Man character lurking in their backgrounds. Knudsen later told the website Know Your Meme that his intent for the character was something whose motivations can barely be comprehended, and unease and terror in a general population. Knudsen depicted the character as an abnormally tall, thin man, with a featureless face. Knudsen said he was inspired by Stephen King's The Mist, among other fictions. Just days after Knudsen created Slender Man, other users started to layer their own attributes onto the character. Some suggested Slender Man has tentacles sprouting from his back, that he can cause amnesia, and that he can be seen hiding in woodlands or stalking children. Unlike many other fictional characters, Slender Man isn't seen as having a single creator. Therefore, he has no official canon, his appearance, motives and abilities differ depending on the storyteller. In fact, Slender Man has become such a popular figure in pop culture that many people have decided to dress as the eerie fictional entity for Halloween. On May 31, 2014, two girls Morgan Geyser and Anissa Wire, both 12 at the time, allegedly brought a 11-year-old classmate to the woods behind Geyser's home in Waukesha, Wisconsin. The two girls then allegedly stabbed their classmate 19 times in what investigators described as a sacrifice intended to please Slender Man, which they had discovered on a horror story website. One of the girls reportedly told a detective they were trying to become proxies of Slender Man. The victim, who was left for dead, managed to crawl to a bike path, where she was saved by a bicyclist. Of the 19 stab wounds, two hit major organs, while one wound missed a major artery by less than a millimeter. She spent six days in the hospital. However Wire and Geyser were found not guilty by mental disease or defect and committed to mental health institutions for sentences of 25 years to life and 40 years to life, respectively. After seven years, Wire was granted early release and will be under supervision until age 37. In January 2017, HBO broadcasted the documentary Beware the Slender Man, which is based on that case. On September 4, 2014, a 16-year-old girl from Port Ritchie, Florida, allegedly set her house on fire in what may have been a Slender Man-related incident. Eddie Daniels of the Pasco Sheriff's Office told ABC News, she had visited the website that contains a lot of the Slender Man information and stories. It would be safe to say there is a connection to that. In June 2014, a Hamilton County, Ohio, mom was allegedly attacked in the kitchen by her 13-year-old daughter. The mom, who declined to identify herself, told Cincinnati news station WLWT, we found things that she had written and she made reference to Slender Man. The alleged attacker reportedly said she attacked her mother to please Slender Man, per a criminal complaint obtained by CBS News Crime Cider. For whatever reason, Slender Man does seem to have resonated particularly among teenagers. The girls in Wisconsin, at least according to statements they made to police, truly believed Slender Man was real, he teleported and read their minds, they claimed, he watched them and threatened to kill their families. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos.